Jennifer, this is really, really fantastic. Nice work here. This is just really fantastic. I love the fact that you described your methodology. Um, uh, specifically, the your, yeah, it, it, everything is fantastic. But I really appreciate this that you're you're describing your color choices. Um, the control soft gray to to signify radioactive decay. This is really great stuff. Got your color palette here. Um, I, I know that this is that you kind of gave this to us as an idea. Um, but yeah, this is a digital. I'm sorry, a an analog assignment whereby you, um, it basically it's pencil to paper, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, all right, that, thank you for including this. This gives us a really good idea of, of what your idea is. Now, the, the thing I have, the problem I have with this is, is I'm not crazy about the typeface at all. It's so rounded, and I understand why you're using this rounded typeface to complement those rounded corners of the tube. That's a smart, smart decision. The problem I'm having is the typeface itself is almost super casual. Um, it should, this is serious stuff. What what uh, Marie Curie did was very, very, very serious stuff. So this has uh, almost an, a personality or an air of of levity to it, like like almost like it's meant to be kind of humorous. And I'm saying that based only on the personality of the typeface. My recommendation is to consider a different typeface. Um, you're turned really super tight here. So, and, and that's great that you're paying attention to letter spacing, but remember this is a title area. So you can open up the tracking. I think your kerning relationships are, are, are okay. Um, a little tight in some areas, but I would open up the tracking. And the reason being is because this area right here is, is we want to give that a little bit of an area, a little area to breathe right there. Um, it was a really good idea shaping the tube as a U. I think it's a great idea. But right now, the, the stroke there is so thin, and you have to be really careful about this. You might even try to, right now, the stroke of the tube is much, much thinner than the stroke of the type. So we have a little bit of an incongruent visual presentation there. Hope that makes sense. Um, so I would recommend maybe thinking about a different typeface. Okay, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself based because I'm talking about your digital presentation, but okay, image works, definitely. Um, yes, yes, good, nice contrast that you brought out in that image, excellent. Uh, bio is good, uh, depending on how much information you need, you may consider adding to the bio or even the, uh, taking away from uh, the bio. It depends on how much information you have and how the layout really really comes along. We're going to take some liberties here in the amount of text you use, so I'm not going to hold you responsible for using this exact text. Interesting to note, though, that in a professional setting, you will be held accountable for the text that you're given as the text you have to use. As a designer, you don't have the luxury of editing text in or out to accommodate the layout. So that's something that I just want to make specifically clear. Clear. Excellent timeline. Let's get to the sketches. Looks like you have one, two, three, four sketches. Outstanding. Each one is fantastic. Really, really great experimentation here. Um, this one is is good, but the one thing I see here is that there's not really, I don't really see a real solid connection between the front and the back. So I don't see any kind of solid connection between this configuration here and this configuration here. And of course, those should tie uh, very close together. Um, this one, we do have that. And I think the simplicity of this is the strength. Just the shape right there continues to the back. That's strong. Uh, again, this one, same thing. Um, this might be a little, a little cluttered right through there. So that's a tough one, but excellent continuation. Exactly. Visual, uh, visual continuation from the front to the back. Outstanding. And I think this is the strongest one. I really do. Um, and I love the, 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 uh, the, ta the ta timeline being horizontal. I'm sorry, being vertical in nature as opposed to horizontal. You're going to watch, watch our assignment. You're going to see that 95% of students are going to turn in a horizontal timeline. So this is really an interesting. I think this is, is your strength point right here. So um, you can please continue in the direction that you find has the most potential and that you are most passionate about. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions at all, please, please let me know. Okay, great start. Thank you very much, Jennifer.